This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? How can you even understand that noise? Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo. The sec
what is it? Quick, we're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. Company. Let's get out of here. I have no intention of being left behind. Now, let us leave. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up! I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? 
Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova. That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. My wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. That does not surprise me, any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. I do not know. I fear that. 
the consequences would have been more extreme. Then the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to... A powerful technique indeed. I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have... It does not matter where we go. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be. Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Telos to serve the galaxy, not as Jedi Knights, but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Telos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you. Ask. These Sith, they seek the... Yes. The Je a faction among the Jedi abandoned the teaching, but these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they but in their hearts they never forgot the Ask. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandal. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle, in the end, the Mandalorian. Ah. Uh, I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought. I would see to that fool in the cockpit. He is a fool and an imbecile. Watch that one. His thoughts. If I were you, watch that one. His th How's our passenger? Yeah, to you, maybe. I don't usually hear much beyond fool and imbecile. She's lucky she's a Jedi. Or someone would have... I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be... After spacing that old witch, of course. Whoa, all right, all right, don't get... I mean... Like we have a choice. You know, if you thought Paragus was dead, should be there before too long. Oh. No, not much. Except sounds like it was after you. <laughs> yeah, well you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it- Others just don't- Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor's long overdue. So? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where- Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. I hear the twin blades are harder to master, but they can make enemies stampede over each other running for cover. A lot of Jedi in the Mandalorian Wars use double-bladed sabers. A more aggressive blade gives you more slaughter per swing. Hey. Great. Maybe you and that Sith Lord can have a party after we're dead. Must have been something. 
Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said anything. Should be there before it's... Should be there before it's... Thank <laughs> you. 